morning. It's the 5th of June 2024. I'm at the Heford stand at Drupal 2024. It's a pleasure to see so many new machines that uh, Heford is showing here. And a pleasure to be here with David Mancaster, who's the managing director for Heford. Good to see you. See you again. Yeah, thanks. So tell me, David, how has the show been for you? I mean, Drupal, are you exhibiting some of your new novelties over here? Tell us first about the show and then what, what are you showing here? Okay. So yeah, the show the show's been great. Obviously, it's eight years since the last show, um, and great opportunity. I think everyone was a little bit nervous how how Drupal would be after such a period of time, but the footfall's been great. Um, we've had interest from literally all over the globe. A lot of a lot of visitors from the Middle East. We've had a lot from Latin America, um, a lot from Europe. So yeah, really very important show for Heford and uh, yeah we're really really enjoying it the team are really enjoying it thank you uh, you have sis all, all your systems starting from the entry level to the most automated so take us through the journey what do you have here yeah so as Heford we have a very wide portfolio of products um, as you know we, we started in gravure we still do the, the gravure proofing presses so at the show here we decided to focus on we've got a label our label mounter which is the world's fastest mounter the FTS We've also introducing a, a new version of the STF, FTS for, for mid-web, which is for, there's a convergence between the narrow web going wider and the wide web coming narrower. So now there's this field around narrow mid-web. So this machine has been designed specifically for that market. For the flexibles market, we, we are showing a new modular mount system. So what we found... Can we just take it uh, take around and I want to just show our viewers about the new machine, the modular. Okay. Can we go ahead? Yep. All right. Okay, so we've developed, we've developed this range in five different stages so that converters can invest at any stage of the life cycle and can continue to develop and can grow their mount to add automation as their, as their companies develop. So at the start, we've got a manual camera machine, very popular for startups, etc., or for people that are only mounting, say, one plate. Then we've, here we've got stage three. So stage three is a, a semi-automatic mounter, very popular for people that are mounting multiple plates. Lots of features on here, like automatic stagger. We can load jobs directly from a barcode into the system so we've got connectivity as i say all very modular so we've got different methods for applying tape some people have preferences for applying in lanes some like to lay across so i guess you could say it's like lego where we've got different pieces and then finally at the far end we've, we're introducing our our new completely automatic, fully automatic mounting system. So this can be used as an auto mounter if you're mounting single plates, like a traditional auto mounter. And now we've introduced a cassette system. So for a fully automatic mounter, it's a relatively small footprint. The operator loads the plates into the cassette. In the cassette, we use a series of, of mylar sheets, which prevents the plates from sticking to each other. And then once the plates have been loaded into the cassette, the cassette then automatically moves across the mounter and will deliver and fully automatically mount the plate. So particularly useful if you have a, a large number of plates, useful if you have very low operator skill, but also useful in terms of productivity. So while the machine is going through the mounting cycle, we also have other products like the sleeve preparation unit where the operator can be preparing the next job mounting the tape or removing the plates from the, the previous job. All right. Um, what about your presence in the Middle East and Africa region? How has it been and uh, uh, the response for Drupa from our region? How has it been? Yes, it's, it's been very positive. We've always had um, a good presence in those regions. As you'll know, there's quite a shift from traditional gravure markets to more and more people interested in Flexo. So we've had quite a lot of customers coming on who are, who are um, gravure converters who have just bought or are just in the process of moving uh, over to Flexo. So that's been quite interesting for us and so it's great to kind of help them with that, that transition. 
So it sounds like it's a very buoyant market that you've got in the Middle East at the moment. There's a lot happening. There's a, a lot of investment going into there. I'm sure you have some installations in that region. Yeah, we've got a number of installations in that region, both in, in label, in mid and wide web, and also some corrugated installations as well. Thank you, David, and wishing you all the very best for today and tomorrow being the last day. Great. And looking forward to have more news uh, from Hereford for our region. Yeah. Thanks, Benjamin. Good Thank to see you, you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.